Welcome to Everyday Linux User. Today I want to talk about accessing files between Windows and Linux when dual booting and my preferred solution. Now I have Cache Linux installed and it uses a BTRFS file system and Windows uses NTFS. If I try to connect to my Windows drive you will see I get an error. Now this can usually be solved by opening a terminal and typing sudo pacman minus s ntfs hyphen 3g. However, even after doing this, the error remains. To troubleshoot, I can open a terminal and mount the drive manually, as shown here. I type lsblk to get a list of drives, and then create a folder to mount the Windows drive to. And then I use the mount command to physically mount the drive. You can see there is an error, and what it is saying is that Windows hasn't shut down properly. And really what this means is it is in sleep mode, and because it is in sleep mode, it still holds a lock on the partition, and so therefore it can't be mounted. What I need to do therefore is go to Windows and shut it down gracefully and then look back to Linux and try again. Before I do that I want to show you how you can access Linux files from within Windows. Now if you have a two drive dual boot you can use WSL which is Windows subsystem for Linux. Open PowerShell and install WSL by typing WSL hyphen hyphen install. I have a complete WSL guide if you are interested and it will be linked in the description. When WSL is installed, you have to reboot and it does some jiggery pokery in the background and finally you can open PowerShell again. It is important you open it as administrator. You can get a list of drives by running this PowerShell command as shown on screen and this will be linked in the description. If your Linux is in a single partition on its own drive, you can simply mount the partition using the command on screen. But you can see that if I run disk management, my partition is on the same drive as Windows. And so if I try and mount it, then I get an error because the drive is locked. You can't therefore use WSL to access a Linux partition in a dual boot system on a single drive. All isn't lost however, you can use this third party tool that I'm showing you now. Go to the address as shown on screen, also linked in the description, and click download. I don't ordinarily recommend going to sites recommended by other people and downloading software you don't know. But this has been verified safe and if you use how to geek or something like that they recommend this tool. Once downloaded install the application and you can see here I am able to navigate to my Linux file system where I have read only access. So now I have access to Linux files from Windows but to be honest I don't like it. It feels dodgy and unsafe. If I shut down Windows and pop back to Linux you can see I can now map my Windows partition and access it from the file manager. So now I have access to both Windows files from Linux and Linux files from Windows, albeit read-only. Personally, I recommend creating a partition, either by shrinking Windows a little bit and creating a little blank space there, or by shrinking Linux a little bit, or by using an external hard drive or USB drive, something like that. So you need something with a FAT32 if it's a smaller drive or an XFAT partition and you want to store all your files in that partition. You can see here I have installed the GNOME disk utility and I have another partition with all my files on it. The trouble with that partition is it's in the ext4 format and we know that to be able to share it with Windows we need it to have a FAT partition or XFAT partition. So therefore I can shrink my Linux partition and create a FAT partition on the end and now I can store my Linux wallpapers or any other files in that partition and from Windows I can store say videos that I've created in Windows in that partition and I can access the Linux files from Windows and the Windows files from Linux because they're all in a shared partition. So the summary to this is that whilst you can access the Linux partition from Windows and the Windows partition from Linux it is better to have a single drive or partition somewhere that's formatted in the exfat format where you can safely share the files between each system. For now though that is the end of the video and you know what to do next and I will see you next time on Everyday Linux User.